Christmas Day. Got a bit of snow. Merry Christmas, everyone. It's a treacherous drive back to the farm. But beautiful. This has been the worst road I've been on. You okay? Yeah, I reckon uh, the record should be getting there. Yeah? I got a little too close to that. That's what I figured. Getting over. I met a truck out there. It was, you know, it tried to pull me out. Yeah. It's too deep. Yeah. Well, anything I can do? Uh, you, want, you want a nice cold Sprite? Uh, you want a Sprite? No, I'm good. <laughs> Yeah, I think there's another one up in the ditch up there. I believe so. Well, I better get out of the road here. Appreciate it, buddy. All right. Thank you. That road pretty bad. There's another one in the ditch back there. He said the a wrecker's coming, so you might want to holler at him. Okay. Yeah, we share a you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you get over, you meet a car on these little roads. You get over, and you get over a little bit too much. in the ditch. Lord, please don't let me go in the ditch. Probably wasn't the best road I could have went through. But sure is beautiful. No fellers in a Dodge, you'll probably be in the ditch for too long. introduced to being pulled in a sled behind a vehicle. The other two were too a chicken to do it. So they don't know what they're missing. They would have to beat us. Mom would, we could be blue with a bit of frostbite coming on, a little bit of old hypothermia coming on. Mom would have to beat us to get, a, get us off the slice. <laughs> oh man, these are different days though. Folks might have noticed I didn't tell them Merry Christmas. I probably should have, but I don't know. It's kind of a uh, socially odd thing. I don't even think I've got a chain in my truck, and I couldn't pull them out. This is a solid sheet of rough ice. We had rain, and it turned to snow as it got dark, and the snow just covered the, uh, the water. It turned to 
ice up underneath of it. On the main roots, they did a pretty good job of getting everything straightened out. But man, these back roots are a bit slippy. They're definitely not going to make it up that thing if they're going that far.
pavement. Man. <coughs> a lot better than this one. Oh, I might be the only dummy to try to go over the mountain. I hope I don't meet anybody on <clears throat> Find yourself the roads to the ice, which is like too bad here. Get over in the snowy part, you'll get a bit more traction. See if someone's been speeding right here. Yeah. five vehicles before I found the two in the ditch line. And I thought, man, this is nice if everybody's going out at once. I 
I ain't saying nothing bad about any of these people. They're probably good Christian salt of the earth types. But some of these homes are in uh, pretty bad shape. Yet our uh, government sees fit to send money overseas to uh, foreign countries for silly stuff like gender studies. And we're talking millions, uh, billions of dollars here. Now, if I was to go to Pakistan and wanted to uh, do a gender study and let these people know about all that, I would do it for uh, like just a million bucks. And I'd be like, look, there's man and there's woman. And we're done. Right there. Now give me my money. And then they want to spend stuff on uh, counting fish, getting rid of the Asian carp, which, you know, whatever. I always thought that was a new past time for rednecks is to get rid of them once they pay them for the tail or something. Too much pork in this bill. It's a corona bill. But they got everything else in it that has nothing to do with the virus. And like I said, it's spending millions and billions of dollars in foreign countries. And they're giving the uh, like the illegals <clears throat> three times as much as what they're giving the American citizens. I think we're getting 400, which the bill was, I don't know, it was, uh, this looks sleepy. It was vetoed. Still, yeah, it's just the principle thing. We need to get these people out of office, all of them. They all need to go. There's no sense in having someone in there as a lifetime politician. Because all these people are compromised. They've all got dirt on them. <clears throat> they're all being blackmailed. And they're all puppets. And enough of that. Let's just enjoy our drive. I'll try to keep it on the hard top here.
one of those stuff right there. It'll be an ugly place to meet someone. standing over there. Turn the train. Looks like a buck. Might be a doe. Too far away. It's pretty big. <clears throat> Fine hills to come off after you hit the barbed wire fence. This will stop you. Looks like we might get some more snow. The sky looks. Kitty cat. It's a bad place to be, kitty cat. season basically because they're a Satanist it's the last bit bad bit we don't have to face and it's not too bad
Anyways, I'm going to try to get out of the woods tomorrow. I'll take video with that, walking around. Get it up. Get it up and post it. I still ain't found a decent alternative to the YouTube. I wish someone would come up with something with a, with a live feature that doesn't, uh, doesn't smash one's freedom of speech. You, know, you ought to be able to say anything. People ought to have enough discernment uh, to question whatever they hear. And they ought to have the freedom to go online and, and look stuff up and get their own information and all that. And there seems to be a side that wants to take away not only our freedoms, but their own freedoms, which is silly. Because if they put us up in a box somewhere where we're, you know, we've lost our uh, ability to communicate and to speak and to stand up not only for ourselves but for them, and whenever they come for that other side, and they will, nobody's going to be there to stand up for you. So you got to think about that. These people, these elite, are just using you. Anyways, everybody have a Merry Christmas. Try to get another one up tomorrow, maybe. And God bless. This is the prettiest part of the drive right here. All these pines and such over yonder. Alright, God bless.